everyone, it's Pretty Little Callie. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to go subscribe and let's get into it. Okay guys, so I'm on the bed right now, like relaxing on the bed. So I changed my name to Pretty Little Callie because I love this name and I thought it would be really cute because my friend, Miss Richards, did my, my banner. She did an amazing job and I'm so proud of her. Thank you, Miss Richards. So I need to get another case. It is so dirty. So I need to like try to figure out how I'm going to wipe that. But today I'm going to talk about me. So as y'all know, my name is Callie and I did go by Callie Ann, but I decided to go by Pretty Little Callie because I think that is so pretty and it makes a pretty name. So today is a hunt for a sticker book at the mall. Um, I'm going to go have lunch and then I'm going to um, probably meet up with my daughter after she gets out of school. Then we're going to go probably have ice cream or something and then walk around the mall a little bit. We're going to meet my family, my mom, my dad at the um lake after because we're gonna go see the lights i'm so excited so i'm gonna try to figure out how to make this case better it is so freaking dirty i don't know so as you all know i get bullied on youtube all the time and it's really hard to ignore because when you have an intellectual disability people just want want to make fun of people with intellectual disabilities and it's really sad and really hurtful but I try to make the best of it. I was thinking about doing my hair, but I'm going to do it tomorrow because it's getting late and I don't feel like dealing with my straightener right now. I'd rather just do my hair. I'm going to probably do my hair um, in the morning while I'm on TikTok. I have some more videos coming for you guys. I have like um, making a gingerbread house. Um, and doing starting the advent calendar today we're gonna start today um which i gotta open day one um i don't have i might just have to use a crown or a pencil for um for the thing um until i get some candy canes and my cat's going crazy so i'm gonna let i'm gonna let my daughter probably get whatever she wants today and hopefully we'll go to dinner. Red Lobster sounds really good right now. Like, comment down below, like, do you like the Red Lobster uh, bread? That's my favorite bread, my Nana's favorite restaurant. Um, I do want to do a video on my, on my intellectual disability and what diseases I have, um, what I was diagnosed with and more. So that would, I will actually tell you guys. And my cat is being really weird. Come over here. So I was born with um, no dis. Stop hair. I was born normally, and when I was before I was in for kindergarten, I think it was preschool or kindergarten. I was diagnosed with fragile X, and fragile X look um if if you haven't looked it up when i looked it up for the first time i was really upset about it because i didn't know what it actually meant and fragile x is so, with um with borderline mr it has um it has sorry it had you your how you get a round head you get like big ears which i have um small eyes um i was not born with it i got diagnosed when I was maybe like three or four years old. And um, then I I have brain damage and I might have autism. I was never diagnosed for autism, but that's what that's what um, my family thinks I have because I have sensory issues to where when it's really loud noise, I get really scared. So I have to wear like headphones or something. Um, I have really bad anxiety. I have asthma really bad. I'm allergic to pollen. 
so I have to wear a mask I'll say sometimes I do forget to bring a mask because sometimes I'm rushing and I don't realize that I don't have one so I gotta remember to pack one pack two because when you buy them at the store they cost a lot I had to pay two dollars and fifty cents for one when I could get one for free for my mom or I could have brought one but I was rushing out of the house because today yesterday me and him it was a beautiful day and we ended up at the park if you haven't seen the video of the short video I made we were at blend dare park and um we were just having fun we were the only people there and before I got to the park we went to go get like a drink and a small snack and I needed a mask because I could not breathe very well. I almost had an asthma attack and my inhalers I have, I have three inhalers that I have to carry with me every single day. I have a steroid inhaler that helps me breathe. I have a butyrol that I have a machine for, but it's in an inhaler. And then I have a rescue inhaler just in case those two don't work. And it's sad because I get teased a lot. I get teased because of the way I look. <sighs> it's sad to have a disability, but we all know that I'm beautiful, right, Pear? So Paris is, I don't know if you guys can see, let me show you. So Paris is sitting with me. Say hi, Pear. She's my best friend. So I'm so thankful to having all the supporters that I have now. I didn't want to come back on YouTube to be honest with you guys just because I was scared that if I came back when I lost everything I thought that it was it for me and when I came back on YouTube I thought it was going to be quiet and no bulliness but YouTube is filled with haters but there's nothing we can do about it is ignore it so I am just very happy with my life I did want to stay as Callie Ann to be honest but I love to do crafts. I love to do be beauty, makeup, and, and I'm beautiful. So I went live earlier and I stood up for myself because I'm so sick and tired of this crap. Right, Paris? We're so sick and tired of it. Paris is tired of it. I'm tired of it. My mods are tired of it. And it just, people are going after them too. And it's not really fair. And I think if people, if we all could just be nice to each other and because it's the holidays and treat each other with kindness, I think we'll all get along. Right, Pear? Say, that's right. So she's sitting with me. My fiance, I think, is playing his game or watching a show before he goes to bed because we have to get up early around like, well, I have to, I could usually get up at 10 so I can spend time with Paris before I leave and feed her breakfast and get myself my medicine and my system, get myself a shower or get dressed and go on TikTok and sometimes do my makeup if I have time. I will be doing my nails probably for the outing tomorrow because we're going to be out all day. Like, we're going to leave at like noon to get to the mall about 1230-ish or 1215 at the latest. And we probably won't get out of the mall to probably 5 because we're going to be meeting my family at the lake. Um, It's supposed to rain today, so I'm going to bring like um just like a jacket or something um I will be wearing leggings because it's really comfortable um so yeah other than that um I have acid reflux disease I had um another disease where got in my bloodstream and I had scars all over my body I have a big scar one on my shoulder one on my back and it sucks because if you guys know what I'm talking about you can get it from like like spiders and stuff it's like I think it starts with an M but you don't want it trust me I almost died from it the doctors said that I could have died from this disease um I got it from an ex at an ex at my ex's house when I was at his house he had I guess he had bugs and stuff and I didn't realize it and let me tell you having that disease sucks so i had to go to hospitals i had to get it taken care of and thank god it's gone i have not had that disease in a very long time so when we got it tested the doctor said that it could have been dangerous thank god it got it in time 
other than that my stomach is very nauseous right now i do not feel good my i'm a little tenderness right now i don't know if it's because of the change of weather or i'm just not feeling good i'm hungry but i don't want to eat anymore tonight because i already ate some crackers i might have like two crackers maybe but i have a headache i do not feel good but having fragile x if you don't know what it is look it up it's a disease it's not a disease it's a disability and it's common in a few people in the u.s it's it's genetic it's not the one I have, there's two types of fragile X. There's the there's the severe fragile X and there's the mild fragile X. I have the mild. A lot of people can get fragile X when they're born and don't even know they have it and then get tested later in the future. You know, I got tested, I got my brain tested, I was tested for it. And I just wish that people would just be nice, you know, we need to be kind to one another and just do our content and, and love one another. We don't have to like each other. I understand that we all want to apologize to each other, but apologies never work. Like, I just wish we all could just get along and just leave each other alone. But, um, and then when I was born, I had something cancerous on my face. Thank God that we caught it in time. Um, it was this small. I do have a scar like above my eyebrow. And I don't like the way I look, to be honest, but God made me this way and I gotta love myself. Uh -huh. No matter what God gives me, I got to just love me and not let it affect my life. Sometimes I have good days, sometimes I have bad days, but we all gonna have the good days. Right, Pear? Paris is the, the prettiest cat I ever had in my entire life. She's my best friend, my soulmate. And she's like, she's like a daughter to me, but. <sighs> and then I, I just, I just wish that I didn't have all these medical issues. I wish I didn't have asthma. I wish I didn't have to be allergic to being outside sometimes or have anxiety, but it sucks. But we all just got to be the, make the best of it and love each other no matter what. And I got to love myself. I got to like accept accept myself for me and my real father who didn't want nothing to do with me because he didn't believe in disabilities he thought disabilities was not his thing so i have to deal with no father i have a stepfather but my real father did not want me uh when yeah when you when you have a dad who doesn't want nothing to do with you he didn't even want more kids. He got my mom pregnant in an accident, so I was an accident. But you know what? My mom kept me, and I'm still here today. And I am beautiful, smart, and intelligent. And I love my pretty Paris. Thank you. So I'm not going to stay on too much longer because I would like to get some sleep because I don't know. I have to be at the mall by noonish, but we're going to have a good day tomorrow, right, Pear? Yeah, it's supposed to rain to, today and then I think, yeah, today and Sunday. And it's going to be in the 60s at the end of next week. So it's like spring weather. But other than that, just please, guys, can we just leave each other alone? We're not in high school anymore. You know, if you leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. I think that's fair. You know, why don't we all just delete the content that that about people and just leave people alone and just love who we are there's no need to cover me anymore there's no need to bother me anymore youtube is this is not what youtube's all about if you really want to be a good person you've got to be a good person and just not let it bother you you know covering people that don't do anything wrong you know stealing people's content is not okay but there but i know it's freedom of speech you can do what you want whatever but I'm not a law cow and I don't belong in a farm. I just want to do my content, be myself, and love who I am. You know, if you talk about me, I have every right to talk about you, but I don't want to talk about you because I'm better than that. You know, I'm a good person. I'm a mother. I don't have time to be on here to bully people and to hurt people. I'm on here 
you know, I'm getting better, not worse. And if you think for one second you're gonna keep harassing and bullying me, you're wrong. The more you do it, the more people are gonna hate you. You got to be nice to one another. Be kind, love one another. You don't have to like the person, block the person. You don't have to keep covering the person because you think somebody's gonna like you. If you wanna be a good person, you have the right to change, but do what you want. But if you wanna learn more about Fragile X, just look it up on the internet. But that's about my Fragile X, about me. And I'm gonna get off here because I do not feel good and I'm gonna go get some sleep. Please don't forget to go subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell for more videos. I post every Wednesday and Sunday. And I just wanted to get this video out to let you guys know that I am not an Emony or a monster or a bad person. I'm a good person with a great heart. If you don't like me, hit the block button and move on. There's no need to keep doing this. We're not in high school, we're not fifth graders. Stop commenting rude stuff. If I'm not being mean to you, don't be mean to me. Have a great day. Bye.